I've already ground it flat. That's a flat grind right there. So now we're going to drill out the the slug, the rest of the bolt that's still in the. It's, I'm going to take a center punch and put it right in the middle. This is kind of an art, so you got to be ready. There's a center punch. I'm going to come in with a smaller drill and get started. This has to be pretty straight. And you can go up to the next size bigger drill. That's the next bigger size. Shop needs their own tap and die set. I go to the metric side and we're going to match this bolt to the tap. Take our thread gauge here, this is the metric. Take those out of there. Now, this is a thread gauge used to measure the actual thread itself to make sure you got the right tap going. Take that out there. It kind of shows you the different sizes right on there. Some 27, 75. And check the. Sorry. No, those seem to be it. Too fine. So let's go to the other side with the gauge. Let's see, 1.5, and that is too coarse. You can see it doesn't fit. This is even coarser, so that doesn't fit. Let's go back down here to 1.25. Well, that one doesn't fit. Let's go down to 1. Oh, there's our match. This is a straight 1. millimeter pitch thread. So now you got the pitch which is one. Now we just need the size. Make sure you get the right tap before you start. You're good to go. Best way to do it is to match it up. Make sure you got the right one. And then the size is six millimeter, which is what we got. So that means you got to finish up with the right size drill. The way you check that is put the drill up to it. And you can see if it's going to be the right size. It'll tell you the right size drill right on it, which is quarter. See on the tap, it shows quarter inch on the drill, and so that's a quarter inch drill. So you can see how it's going to leave just enough for the threads to work. And that's how that's going to go. Key here is to keep it really straight. Nice and slow. And you'll back it off, that cuts the threads. Always go in to cut the threads and then back it up. In, cut the threads. 
So back it up. Make sure it stays nice and straight. Once you're done, you want to use a high-pressure air hose. Watch your eyes, of course. And take your bolt. Make sure it threads in. And you're done.